there we go. Let's solve this system. Because we had so much fun solving the other one, right? Well, let's choose two equations and then figure out which variable we want to eliminate. All right, and this is the trick question, is which uh, variable do we want to eliminate? X. <laughs> Sounds great to me, man. So I got a negative 1x plus 1x. There we go. It eliminates. That's perfect. My coefficient of this y is 1, just in case you didn't know. And I'm adding these two as well. So 1y plus 2y is 3y. We've got a negative 1z plus a negative 1z, which is a negative 2z equals 6 plus 1 is 7. All right, so we got that equation. Uh, let's, we got to use this top equation now. So I've got the 2x plus 4y, 4y minus 2z. Am I going to run out of space again? Kind of squeeze that in there. And which other equation do we want to use? To Don't we have to use that one that we just created? Not yet. We have to el eliminate Another one, huh? the x's from these, these other ones as well. So it doesn't matter which equation we choose. All right, let's use the second one. I've got a negative x. I'm sorry? So we've got to choose the... See how we didn't use that top equation there? with this, these first two here. So we eliminated the x's from those two, but we didn't use that top equation there. Because we need to eliminate the x's completely. So we need two equations without x's. So we have a new system with just two, uh, two variables. And we can do that pretty easily with this one. I'm gonna get rid of this other stuff though. This is kind of a way to focus on that, all right? So I'm going to take the second equation and multiply it by 2. Now, we do have to eliminate the x's on this one because we chose to eliminate the x's on the previous set, right? So that gives me negative 2x plus 2y minus 2z equals 12. And the top equation. All right. So we're eliminating the x's. And these two will eliminate when I add them together. So 4y plus negative 2y is 2y. That should be a 2y. Did I? Oh, it was a, it was yeah. a plus 2y, yeah. So that's a 6y, thank you. That's better. Wait, no, it's a plus, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go, thank you. All right, 6y, then I'm going to add these two, so negative 4z. And I'll add the 3 and 12, which is uh, 15. So let's compare these two equations. The red one, 3y minus 2z equals 7. And 6y minus 4z equals 15. So which variable do we want to eliminate? Z. z. Let's eliminate z. I'm going to multiply the second equation by negative the top, the top one. one I apologize the yes one at all, right? yeah we we'll just multiply it by one yeah. uh, I feel better about putting those parentheses there now <laughs> <laughs> so a negative two right yes so I got a negative negative six y plus four z equals negative 14 and then if I multiply this second one by one that didn't change anything All right, now let's add these together. Well, now the y's are eliminated too. Was well, that's what we wanted, though, right? And the z's. No, we were doing the z's. Oh, well, that's very coincidental. <laughs> What's uh, zero plus zero, you guys? Negative one. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Zero plus zero is just zero. So we get this expression right here, right? Which is great because, as it turns out, we're finished. Is there anyone that has ever heard of zero equaling one? I hope not. I mean, maybe in some forms of number theory, I guess. But uh, since that's a false statement, this just has no solutions. 
See how that cut that short? That was pretty good. Now here's the thing about these is, you guys see how we were eliminating these up here? You could end up with something like this, uh, zero equals not zero, which is false, right? You could have, we could have had that happen up here in this area. And if you do, then it's still no solution. Okay. That makes it even shorter, which we would love. 